all for help. Microsoft Office is amazing. I mean, they estimate that only uh, you only use five to ten percent of it. It's kind of like an ancient Egyptian pyramid. It's so easy to get lost in it, but it's filled with hidden treasures most people don't even know about. All this week, Martin Sargent is going to be showing us some secret gems he's unearthed to make the Office 2000 experience more effective and enjoyable. Today, Outlook and the Lost Keystrokes of Gold. Wow, that's uh, that's spooky. Pretty dramatic. Show me some, show me some cool stuff. You got four minutes to knock my socks I off. I can do that. All right. All right. If you notice, I am just in Internet Explorer. Outlook is not open. No Outlook here, ladies and gentlemen. I have some stuff in my pockets, but they're irrelevant to this trick. <laughs> All I have to do, if I want to get into Outlook, is go Outlook colon really inbox. It's gonna take me directly in the Whoa! Box. And it did that? fast too. Very fast. Well, I had it cash. I could also go Outlook colon calendar. Outlook colon contacts oh, that's cool. or Outlook slash tilde and then the subject of a message. Monitor. And will it search for messages? Wow, right that's really neat. That means I could bookmark that, couldn't I? Yes, that's sure. really cool. All right, that's a good one that I never heard of. Give me another one. Here's a great I'm one. Greedy. Let's say uh, you, you got a bunch of contacts in Outlook yeah. and you need to go visit one for a business appointment. Right, because it has my address. Right, book. go into the contacts folder. Yeah. Now I have uh, my work address here. Uh -huh. I'm double click on it. And go down and choose the home or the business address. Okay? okay, it's already up there. Now I will go into Actions, Display a map of address. Whoa! Go to Expedia.com and automatically give me a map of my contacts now, address. I should point out these are all Microsoft products, and this is a Microsoft website. Clearly, Microsoft's using the integration of all of their products to good effect. But I don't know how the Justice Department <laughs> feel about that. What else can we do? Let's say I'm applying That's for a great. new job, all right? Yeah. I'm going to write a message to the HR department, but they're probably getting flooded with requests for this job, and I want to know if that HR department has read my message It'd be or cool not. It's cool if you could send it like registered mail right. and get a receipt back. So I'm going to go HR at techtv.com. You already have a job. You okay, I know, but okay. I might need a new one soon. Go all to right. View <laughs> and then Options, and see this little checkbox right yeah. here? Request, Request a read receipt for this uh -huh. message. If I click that and send it, I will be notified when that HR department reads my message. A message so if they will be just sent automatically to you. delete it. You'll know that too. Yeah, because I won't get anything it's, back. Yeah. In fact, you, sometimes you get a message that says it's been deleted without reading, That's which right. is really embarrassing. Now, Give me another one. It's all well and good. Yes. If you're spying on people, you're sending messages right. to you. But how do you know if people are spying on you? Well, go in your inbox, all right, yeah. and go to View Toolbars Advanced. It's going to open up a new toolbar. There's a button on this toolbar called Field Chooser, which I will click. Go to the drop-down arrow and choose all mail fields, okay? Scroll down a little bit. Oh, these okay. are li like little hidden the extra fields. requested. All I'm going to do is drag that up to my inbox, put it right between so you're adding it to the columns. See there? The latest message I got was from, uh, from Microsoft Outlook. It they did written. not request a return but receipt. But if, if it does, it But if it had, yes. it would say yes. So I would know. You have time, we have know. time for one more. If you time have. for one more. Okay, I do have one more. This is the best one, but you okay. can only use this if you have Microsoft Exchange Server and Outlook. I'm now, that's true and sending mostly in corporate environments. If you're using yes. Outlook for Internet mail, this is not going to work. Right. Here's what you would do. Go into the Sent Items folder. Let's say that I wrote my boss, Paul, a really scathing message. You're you Paul. idiot. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> And I, I finally did write that message. And you I weren't want, foolish enough to send it. And I want it. to recall it. I realize yeah. that I have eight kids. You can't recall it. Alimony you checks. Sent, I need that job. It. That's right. Okay, so what I would do is go Lord. into the sent items folder. Yes. And uh, double click on the message, okay, yeah. and go into actions. And if I had Exchange server running, I would be able to recall the message that I sent. So we want to emphasize most people who are using it for Internet mail, you won't see anything as right. we don't so see I only, here. I only showed you half the trick. But if you have, if you're using it in a corporate environment, you will have in this actions menu a recall message That's provided right. you that you haven't yet. read it yet. And I can I can either delete the message or change the text of the message. So and there's another option in there that will tell me whether or not it worked or not. Great tips. I know we went fast, folks. If you want to see more, it's on the web, techtv.com/call.